Hello, welcome back. It's great to see you. In real time, I have just finished unboxing this and I cannot wait any longer to play with it. So we are gonna film the process video right this second. I already have the perfect idea for this kit. So I've grabbed a couple of paper clips and a peg from my stash to help me put these things together. I'm planning to do some layered tags. Um, I saw Rachel Talman do this and hers was stunning. And it's a really great way to gift lots of little bits and bobs to pen pals without just putting them in the box. So it's like a pretty way <laughs> to present them, I guess. The first thing we need to do is cut out our background tags. So I'm gonna mind, oh, actually, ooh, we've got tags. Right, we'll do one green one and then I'll cut around the other one. I was gonna use my scoreboard, but I don't think there's any need. I think I can just cut around this to make the other tags. on my three bases. Let's mind this out of the way. I don't think I will add eyelets to them. Let's work out who's gonna have what. So probably like that. Then we need another layer. So maybe a little bag on one of them. I love this paper. I'm wondering about making a ruffle out of a part of it. I hate cutting this apart. I really don't want to. There we go, right. We'll make a ruffle out of that one. Done it now, no going back. What else can we add? Just looking through the bits and bobs that I have here. I've sort of decanted them all over my desk. <laughs> I'm not the neatest crafter at all. That would be cool to use on one of these. I wanted to use this, but I like it too much. I don't think I want to gift it, I want to keep it for my journal. Oh, I've actually got a doily as well, sorry. Just got things randomly floating around my desk thinking this would look super cute if I put some sequin mix inside it. Try and have the doily on one of them somewhere. And then I'll stitch through that. So I thought I'd attempt to do a voiceover for this one because that way you can see what I'm doing and I can also chat to you and talk you through it. So I've grabbed these bits from the kit. I've worked out that I'm going to do the green tag first. The little vellum bag that I've added is from Exo and Quinn. I should have a haul up from them very soon so I'll link that down below for you if you're interested. I'm just adding some of the sequin mix that we got in the kit into that little bag and sealing it up. I was thinking about using one of these little circle stickers, but I settled on the heart cut from the vintagey paper that we got in this month's kit. Just putting some double-sided tape on the back of that and using it to hold it closed. I thought I was gonna use one of these little corner pieces to hold the bag in place. I'm pretty sure I do end up using one, but I also put some tape on the bag because it was just too heavy to stay there with just that one corner sticker holding it in place. I'm pretty happy with all of the layers. I think I add that bit of tape that I mentioned in a second and then I'm just looking for other bits that I want to add. I know I want this piece of string at the top in a little bow, I think that just adds a little bit of something extra. So I try a couple of times and finally get the little bow that I was looking for. 
I cut out this adventure word from the cut apart postcard as I call it. I know you could use it as a whole postcard but I cut it apart every time so I just call it extra cut aparts. It needs something to sort of bring it forward a bit so I've gone for this yellow paper to match the peg and I mess about with it for a while trying to work out how I want the edge. So I cut it at a slant a few times, I try and put the adventure either end, I don't like either of those options. Eventually I add a staple and decide to make it into a little arrow end, there you go, like that. And I think that works much nicer than what I had before. Adding some foam tape onto there, I know I'm not supposed to stick things together but I had no other way of adhering it and this comes off pretty easily so I think that'll be fine. Grabbing out all of my gems because as you guys know we love a gem on here, a project isn't complete until I've added gems to it. So I like to get out my little basket, pull out all of the ones that I think match colour wise and then I just pull from those. So these hearts are from Aliexpress, I don't think I've managed to use a single one of the bright green ones <laughs> but I managed to get one of the little teal one used up on this project. So I've put it on the peg and I've added a few little gems on there as well to add some interest to the peg. I'm just fiddling with it and seeing what else I want to add. I decide on some gold Heidi colour shine and I just use the box the kit came in to place it inside so that I don't get the gold all over my desk which is what I usually do. And I'm just adding that everywhere on the tag, on the ephemera, all over everything. And that's this tag finished. So I'll show you it a bit closer up. You've got that gorgeous vintage hot air balloon and all of the layers. I hope whoever gets this one will love pulling it apart and putting it to good use. Then we are going to work on the little yellow tag that we cut earlier. I made this one slightly different. So I've rounded the corners rather than having them flat like the previous tag. But other than that, it's the same size and all that sort of stuff. I'm using this pretty ribbon paper clip that I found in my stash. I love these and I can never find ways to use them, so I'm really excited to use that up. I'm using the blue post-it note lined paper from the kit and I was planning on having that side showing and not the side with the clouds, but I changed my mind <laughs> after I've done it all and decide that I do want to use the side with the clouds. I also know that I want some white stitching on that so I've gone ahead off camera and stitched all around the edge which you can see here and I'm just holding those two tags together with a paper clip then adding a little gem onto the centre of the bow paper clip part there I had it on my desk and I thought you know why not so I've added that to the centre I'm thinking about adding one of these bags but it looks too big um, and now I'm looking through the zine to see if I can add any parts from this. So I decide that I really love this 2021 summer bucket list sort of 3 by 4 card. So I'm distressing the edges of that and I'm going to put that as a back layer on this. Obviously because it's only held with the paper clip the recipient can take it apart and use that as a list if they want to or layering piece whatever. But it was a really cute fun piece to add as a layer. And a great way to use the zine. So what else am I adding here? I'm adding some of the die cut pieces. Well, I'm trying to choose which ones to add actually. There are so many gorgeous pieces in this kit. I'm looking at adding these yellow hearts, but ultimately I decide against that. And what do we add instead? Can I remember? Looking at the circle stickers again. These gorgeous pieces from My Green Cow. She did some illustrations for the kit. They're, oh, they're beautiful, I might just frame them. So I've cut out one of the pieces from the postcard. Thinking about using this circle sticker, I don't think that makes the final, makes the final cut, but this little bucket and spade does. How beautiful is that? It's so fun for summer. Adding on more of those corner pieces to hold that little piece in place. I loved using those corner pieces this month. They were so fun, something a little bit different to play with. Putting the bucket and spade up on some foam tape and now I'm just looking for some little words to add onto the piece with the waves. I'm almost using the waves like lines, so as if it was lined paper and I'm just putting some of the word stickers in between the lines. I 
adding some gems onto that one. So some of my favourite iridescent gems. These gold ones, we know we're torn on these. <laughs> half of you love them, half of you absolutely hate them. Let me know in the comments if you're a lover or a hater of those gold ones. I want to try and use another one of the hearts, so I think one makes it on eventually. And I look at them a few times. These gorgeous blue ones are from AliExpress, I use them on everything. I love they've got the different shades of blue. You can always find one that matches perfectly that way. There we go, there are the hearts. I think about using one of these minty ones and in the end I decide that I want to pull up the green from the spade. So we go for this bright green one. Here are our finished tags. I do mess with these slightly when I'm finished filming. So in a second a clip will come up to show you what they look like ultimately. But I really like how they turned out. One's a bit more vintage, one's a bit more modern. I think they're equally as pretty and hopefully my recipients will enjoy pulling them apart and using all of the bits and pieces from this month's bucket list kit in their own crafts. As I predicted, I did mess with them a bit after I turned the camera off. I've just come back to show you the finished result because I think they look a bit more cohesive now. So I added some of this map ephemera pieces, uh, one of the map ephemera pieces, sorry, this little heart and I've also added some of the map behind here, added a little staple and I think just adding sort of this same vintagey thing, same vintagey pattern actually makes them match a lot better so that is how they finally turned out. I just wanted to make sure that I showed you the finished project as I left it. Thanks so much for crafting with me and I will craft with you again soon. Thanks for watching, bye!